Hello, everyone. I would like to welcome Susan Popper from Commons Coffee and Catering Inc., who's here to share a little bit more about her organization and the services they provide. Welcome, Susan, and thank you for joining us at our CTN Virtual Information Fair today. Thank you, Christine. Um, can you briefly describe um, your organization and um, the individuals that you support? Uh, we, Commons Coffee and Catering is a not-for-profit uh, coffee catering organization. Uh, we've been around for eight years um, and we have supported about 15 to 20 individuals uh, wow. working part-time with us. Uh, we mostly work during the summer at our uh, farmer's market in Newmarket. Okay, thank you. And can you um, briefly share your organization's vision and how this fits in with CTN's focus for the F Words for Child Development? Uh, well, basically our vision is uh, to have the individuals um, get self-confident, learn uh, work skills, working in a real uh, work setting, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually our um, uh, booth at the farmer's market, but it gets quite busy. We have lineups, sort of like Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, um, and also to show that uh, they have ability to show the community they have ability and they are looking for employment so here mm. are the people hire them right so right uh, and in terms of the f words for ctn um you had family and i said really families will uh, get hope and motivation just because their son or daughter uh, has opportunities out there and the opportunity might lead to real employment. Uh, and then um, fitness, I don't really have anything for that. <laughs> it's a lot of standing up on your feet. <laughs> uh, fun and friends. Fun is to meet other co-workers and learn how to work as a team and they will be your friends and also meet the public the customers will end up being your friends yeah and there lies opportunity for them right mm -hmm. and the future uh as for future is uh to just get the training and employment and learn to be a bit more self-sufficient yeah. um, and to make more contacts in the community so yeah, it sounds like it does hit a lot of the efforts. Um, when you were describing your organization, I was thinking exactly what you said, the fun, the friendship, um, even function, you know, the learning the skills and the ability to um, move forward in, you know, a future employment. Right, right. No, yeah. okay. You just had children. I, you don't have anything for children. So basically, because your age range is quite wide, uh, uh, we, we do hire for summer job. Um, and the age range is from 16 up. But we kind of like it to be 18 up. So really, 18 to 21, I guess, would okay. be the range. So OK, great. And um, can you briefly explain um, what services and support you're able to offer families right now, considering the current COVID-19 restrictions? So that's not very hopeful right now. We uh, did not really operate in the farmer's market last year because they did not allow any food or drinks. Mm -hmm. Just the vendors were there to sell vegetables and other mm -hmm. items. So really the answer is none right now. <laughs> uh, and this year the market is supposed to open at uh, May 1st. So we're just going by what the new rules are and I'm not sure, I, I have a feeling it would be a delay. Uh, but at normal times, uh, we operate the booth at the farmer's market May to the end of October, 1st of May to end of October. 
And uh, we also, during the rest of the year, we have a lot of uh, uh, festivals that we are engaged in and um, just being invited to like concerts we can set up. So there is other things going on. There's the home show three days we're in jazz festival. So it's just to point out a number of other events. Yeah. And where is the um, farmer's market located in Newmarket if people are interested on vi um, visiting you guys? <laughs> the, the normal um, location was a river walk uh, <laughs> at the Lions Community Center. It's around Timothy Street and Main Street. Uh, there's a big water fountain there. Mm -hmm. uh, if they don't, this year they're coming back to that location, but because of COVID, you know, there could be changes. It was moved last year. So. Okay, yeah. So we will share your <clears throat> contact information at the end of the video. So if families are interested um, or wanting to touch base with you um, with any questions they have, they can reach you um, with the contact information. And um, we wanna thank you again for joining us today and sharing a little bit more about um, Commons Coffee and Catering Inc. Um, to our um, CTN families. Thank you very much. Thanks, Susan.